Yeah. I get those goosebumps every time. I need the high. Throw that to the side. I got murder on my mind. I got murder on my mind. I got murder on my mind. Relax, relax. Oh shit. Oh, let me start again. Honestly, I've been trying to record this video for like three days straight. I've freaking. I basically, I got a light set up and it's taking the absolute piss set up. And oh, I there, I'm looking good. I'm looking secure, I'm broken. Not bad, not bad. Shit, I hurt. I. So basically. Oh shit, how do I start this? So basically, Zen broke his arm. So basically. So basically, oh, you. So basically, in this video, I'll be telling you lot how I broke my arm recently. And I was fucking shagged. Basically, in this video, I'll be telling you guys how I broke my arm recently. Um, my Instagram will be in the link below. On my no, I don't add me on Snapchat. I don't use that. Yeah, just Instagram. Thank you. Oh, I feel sick. So basically, I'm um, this is off topic. Well, not off topic. I'm talking about my arm. It's my right arm that's broken. Last year, 2018, I broke my left arm. I had to get surgery done. Wait, would it pick up? Yeah, there. And the year after, this is February. I broke my right arm. Ah, uh, that's my. Forget me, man. I should be running, man. Last time I recorded, I did not speak clear, man. Like, I'm not the point. I stutter a lot, etc., etc. Et so now I'll be, I'll be saying like the main part again. Yeah, now I'll be starting my story and how I broke my arm. So I've I've wrote it down. The notes, to be honest, I, co I, I can't I can't like sentence sentences so it comes out clear. So. Yeah, I'm gonna be saying it. I <laughs> yeah, better did at the lights. I got these lights from Amazon. Oh, well, wow, sick man, look. Blues, greens, purples, pinks. Hello. Oh, I've got a fucking Iceland. I've got an Iceland bag in the back. In the, in the last clip when I was speaking, you cannot understand what I'm saying. L legit, like, it's not clear. I don't, like... I, it's not clear. You won't really understand what I'm saying. I, I'll just say it again. Yeah. So, basically, this was a normal day. Like, just a normal day. A few... Me and my mates, we just went out for the chill. We went to eat. And then, on the way back, we just went to park like normal human beings. This was like, this was like 8 p.m. 8 p.m., 9 p.m. And it gets quite dark at this time in the UK, too. Um, once you in the park, we were just chilling, messing about, and then a dog comes. This dog was stood right there, it stood still, and I swear down, it was, eyes open, looking at all of us. We were like half panicking, half panicking, half not panicking, and uh, we didn't know what to do in it. And it, it was scary, trust me, bro, I'm not gonna lie, but I was quite scared. Because it gave that, it was like, it was like it's not one of the short, small dog you see, it's like this big. Yeah, mad, mad, mad. And in the in the park, oh, who am I, bro? I'm not posh. And in the park, there's there was a from in that day, in that day, on that day, there's five of us, and two of us were there's like three of us on the climbing frame, and two of us, two of um, two of us were like two of us. I'm saying like uh, um, we were all together in one body, but two of us were like. On the far side, they were just chilling, whatever. And then a gate was open there. Them two, one saw that dog instantly run out, run out. I give them credit, man. They use their brains. But from a dog, you don't run, man. That's one thing I've learned from this experience. And yes, next part. And after this, the dog started barking so loud because it got led by them, the them two boys who ran earlier. And Damn, bro, it was a scary experience. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm not, like, I've not been, I've not been with a lot of dogs. I've, I've never touched one. I'll tell you that now. And the dog was like barking. He, he thought we were part of them, but we were. But he, he wanted to get to all of us like now. It was, it was fun, triggered, man. We had to run somewhere. Then the dog was looking how to get inside the park. Uh, well, like Mac words now, the, there's normally a gate to a park in it, and on this particular day, like. I, on this day, the gate was broken. The gate, there was no gate there. 
it has to it had to be on this day, didn't it? And as there was no gate there, the dog looking around and he saw a gate on my he went like a flash or something like that. He went like that and he came around to us. And we were on top of the camera frame, we were like, this guy ain't getting here, this dog ain't getting here, we were like, we were sort of relaxed in it, but then it came up on my life, bro. Psh, oh, psh, man, got heart attacks, bro, we got heart attacks up there. And, oh, what up next? Yeah, then, there's three of us in the camera frame, there's like a sort of, like, it's a vertical opening, it, then we jumped down. I, I do not know where the two of the boys went, I had no idea. I think they turned the other way, the dog was going for me, there was like a fence, um, a small fence in it. I jumped over it. I pushed myself my up. I was going up, jumped. I think when I was landed, I landed straight like that. But I hit my elbows and oh, I had a snap. Then when I heard that snap, like I, I was feeling dizzy and shit. I just kind of running, kind of running, bro. I think this dog. I don't know if it's a dog. I think I, th I think when I came. And then I saw one of my friends, and then I go from the same friend that was in the park. We saw him. I saw him. Who the guy, the two, of the, two of the lads who ran out earlier. I saw them, and I went to them. and got my my arms broken, and I saw another guy. He dropped me off home, and then I went to the infirmary. Like it, like it. What the fuck am I saying? Shit, you can zoom there. And then once I was at the infirmary, um, they gave me X ray and stuff. Basically, I tell you what. My elbow was dislocated. Oh, the surgery, the extra pictures were nasty. Um, I, th I think, no, my bone, my bone sticking out there it was disgusting, disgusting. And it was dislocated, and a, a few small bones were broken. Mine and bones were broken. And yeah, then, then, um, I think it was a, a Pakistani, um, Pakistani doctor there, and he goes, "We could try fixing it right now." And I go, "All right." Then he gave me some sort of medicine like morphine. Oh my god, this is the first time I felt high in my life. So, uh, morphine's like, um, it's like a, some sort of drug that reduces the amount of pain you can feel as it makes you go sleep. And uh, obviously, it'll make you feel high and shit. This, this, I started laughing when I was like, when you start doing this shit, like you start pulling my arm. But then after a bit, apparently, I was screaming. I didn't scream, I was like, man, pussy, why are you screaming? Like when he he put me, he's put put my arm back to place and like back together and then obviously it hurt, it hurt everyone but don't I don't talk big bro it hurt everyone and yeah that's what happened no wait that, oh what am I gonna say no I'm not, I'm not gonna I think that's one that um no nah, actually no 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 but it, it was huge pain huge pain like, even when you're asleep or, or you're not fully asleep and you have morphine you still like um. A bit alert, and then it was a large pain. It, it, it did hurt me. I'm not gonna lie. And yeah, but when I when I had that morphine, oh my god, bro, different feeling, man. It's wow. It's like it's like your eyes going in circles, like yeah, it's something like that, man. And yeah, now I think it's been you know since I recorded the last um in you know the clip you saw before when I had those shades on with the Nike shirt talking about me arm. This now it's three weeks after. I can move my arm, everything, but I cannot, like, the bones are not, like, stuck together in it, and it's been, it goes after about three months now, the physio and the other doctor, three months to go to the gym, play football or anything, as if I land on my elbow now, it's gonna snap again, so, yeah, man, living the boring life right now, but I can't, I'm not gonna complain, I'm not gonna complain, man, we live, we're, we're so lucky, dude, like, even have clothes, so I'm not gonna complain, alhamdulillah. That was a Rami video, bro. Oh, that was a Rami video. Ah, I like this part. Confidence. Cozy. I came, just to never change. I try to keep straight. There's no traffic in my lane. Checking on some water, pissing on some water. Feel it, engine, none of the Porsche, yeah. Hold up. Got another order. Got another order. I'm sitting with Porsche. Her head is so awesome. She says the mark.